Welcome back to another Fortnite review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Fortnite Deluxe Diorama The Vault. This is a very large box. It's 18 inches long, 15 half inches tall, and it's only three and a quarter inch deep, but it is quite large. For the packaging, you can see on the top left it has Deluxe Diorama. On the top right, we have Ages Recommendations 8 and above. And you can see all the pieces that come in a set very nicely displayed. The bottom of the black Fortnite. Below that we have the name uh, nameplate the vault, and it has a list of 21 pieces on the right side. This is very cool. Now for the top of the box, like I said, it's, it's a thinner box, but it's a large box. It just has the Fortnite and half of the window box on on the top of the packaging. Here's the bottom of the packaging. It just has a bunch of legal information. Fortnite on on the left. There's a UPC if that helps you at all. If you want to read any of that information, you can pause and read it. Both sides of the box are exactly the same. It just says Fortnite and half a window display. Okay, for the back of the box, we have on the left side, we have Enter the Vault if you dare, showing everything you get in the uh, two figures. On the right, we have the Fortnite logo. We have Midas and Jules. Midas, all that glitters is yours. And then we have Jules Engineering Perfection with a mysterious twist. Then we have their uh, pictures. And at the bottom we have figures that are coming soon. If not already out. So if this is bouncing around like a lot because I'm hoarding it because it's such a huge box to get it all into the frame. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at this set. Okay, for the first two pieces we get, we get these really awesome 118 scale shells. They have this silver post on the ends. Nice sculpt work there. It makes it look like a rack from like, you know, warehouse. Then we have the uh, light brown shelving. It does have like a texture that looks like wood. You get three, there's three shells. Uh, they're not removable. They're all stationary. Pretty much one mold and then painted apparently. Um, it doesn't look like they're sure if you could stack them. You might be able to, but they don't like lock or anything. And then you kind of get like this mini shelf there, which kind of give up some serious space, I think. But you can put them together nicely if you would like, or separate if you uh, so want to. Okay, so let's see what's next. Okay, next we get this chest. It's kind of like the uh, shadow chest you get with the. Uh, this is it the Shadow Henchman set, I think? We have the red, the light gray, the dark gray, some of the gun metal here and here. Nice sculpt worked. There's the side of it. Back. The side. The bottom. Oh, it's nice, I see there's hinges, so we can open this without worrying about stressing the plastic. It is empty. It's four little holes, see through holes in the bottom, but. Nice little piece, nice little logo on the top. Looks pretty decent. Next, we get a supply drop box. You have the yellow um, drop on the front, the fragile here, the blue wooden box with the weathering on it. There's a side. It says drop on the back. The weathering is throughout the whole piece. Bottom, it says supply on the top in yellow. And there's it also has the hinges, so and it is also empty. So there's something for you to you know put your gear in for transportation. Pretty cool. Next up is this turret sitting on a gunmetalish base. We have so we have some uh, translucent red here. There's a button right here. Unfortunately, I did not know it, but this does not come with batteries. There, it takes batteries here. But I opened this up, and there's no batteries in it. So I can't um, demo it for you guys, so sorry about that. I was not aware, I assume I got the batteries for it. Okay, so here's the top of it. It looks really, really cool. Got a red tip. Some red here, it probably lights up with the batteries inside, I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, that looks like it's articulated, but it's just a stationary piece. Uh, it does rotate. 
not 360. I, I mean, it's almost like a, it won't go around the back here. So it's from my, because this is the front. It just, that's it right there. That's strange. You didn't get no batteries. Okay, next up you get two slurp barrels. We have the nice slurp logo on the front. So we have some leaking seals around the top. And then color like a light blue slurp color. Top of it. So it does have the handles there. It's bottom. Pretty cool. It's actually really cool. Next up, we have a RPG done in all purple plastic. Then we have an orange minigun, translucent orange. No moving parts. And we have a blue uh, submachine gun. And we have a Green tactical shotgun. And then we have this gold red grappling gun. Here we have the uh, gold drum gun. It's kind of like a Tommy gun. This is really cool. Next, we have another drum gun that's painted differently. We have the black handle grip and foregrip, the sil silver drum, and the gold body. This is really cool. I like how he painted this one. It's, it's perfect for Midas. Kind of notice a little bit of paint mix up there on the handle. Maybe it just came off. It's a cool gun. Okay, next piece up is the vault. You can see we have this nice, like a metalish color. Nice design for the overall, for the sculpt work of the vault. We have the handle. It does not turn. Stationary piece. There's no moving parts on here at all. We have this black computer console here as a little slot. We do have the blue screen. Pretty cool. This is electronics. I also, this piece requires batteries. And just like deterrent, there is no batteries inserted. So, do not know that. I was assuming you got batteries most ways you do. The interior, you can see like the lock mechanism on the, and all the different rods. Here's where you put the batteries. These are connector pieces for the walls. Very cool. Uh, and you also get this uh, little key card. See how it's notched there? We have the blue circles. Well, if you insert it into this slot here, that door open, it opens the door. Doesn't seem to do it very fluently, but maybe it has to have batteries in it. Oh, that works. Cause you gotta have it seated properly. From just taking out the packaging, it's probably offset. If you, set, if you push it out too far, I think it gets jammed. Be careful. Oh, I will take out the key card maybe. Push it in. Pull the key card out. Yeah, probably pull that key card out every time you want to shut it, or it doesn't uh, set properly. That's really cool. Okay, for the battery information, it's way down on the bottom. It says requires three 1.5 LR44 AG13 batteries for the security turret not included. It requires the same batteries for the vault door not included. So, yeah, that's my fault for not seeing that. Okay, next up we have these wall pieces for the vault. 
it looks like you can add any of your building materials to it if you wanted to expand your play. You do get two of these. Pretty cool. And then you get one more piece like this. We have a camera on it. The camera seems to be stationary. Um, yeah, it's got some nice sculpt work to it. But nice to have a little bit of black paint on the inline the lens there. That'd have been cool. Maybe a little red here showing that it's energized. That'd have been really nice. This also has the same piece as you can. I guess we have to turn it around and you can connect like this. You can build your vault. Here we have a breakaway wall feature. So if you break into the vault, breaks away. That's pretty cool. Then we just have to reseat, or reseat this inside. It kind of fits well, just perfectly, relatively easily. Looks good. Here's the back of those other ones. These two pieces are the same. Very cool. So it kind of looks like it just kind of connects like this, with no problem. And you can put, you know, one on, on the other side too. But they're kind of in the back here also. The other wall pieces. You can do probably one or two or two on that side, one on that side. It's up to you. Or you can exit. You can add some, maybe some of the silver building materials that look really cool on this. To like, you know, complete it like a nice square vault. Next we get this 118 scale Midas figure in his gray suit. White undershirt and black tie. His hands are definitely you know, made of gold there. He has gold pistols, some gold grenades. It's very cool. We have a black pouch uh, pouch on his leg with a strap around. Black shoes. Some tats on his arms. It's just black hair. He has like a clammy gray his skin, some tats on his neck there. This is gun holster straps on the back. That's really, really cool. So for his articulation, he has his own ball joint, rotates 360, it's a little stiff. Um, doesn't seem to move a whole lot up and down, just a tad bit, it's really stuck. Not much side to side, arms on a ball joint, rotate 360, soft ratchet. Wow, arms always really stuck too. Go up about that much rotation at the elbow 360 pretty much your standard uh joy toy joy toy do too many joy toy videos um fortnite articulation but you do get a very nice more than 90 degree bend that's gonna be cool for him holding his uh drum gun that's really cool you have a torso articulation back and forth Crunch back, bring this in. Very nice. Like this is they should have all their figures with that bend ratio. We have our 360 rotation at the waist. No problem. Sits really well. For splits, wow, can't get better than that. Even that one's pretty good. Cool. Double, uh, we have uh, lift eye. Yep, lift eye rotation. Cuts are right there. This is a little stiff, gotta break them free. Now we get down to the uh, double jointed knees are very, very tight. Double jointed knees. And uh, for the feet, 
Let's see what we got going on here. It's kind of weird looking. Yeah, we got some 360 rotation. We just can see that ball inside there. I don't want to force that. So I'm not sure if it does pivot up or down. It is very stiff. I want to break that pin joint. Yeah, but that's a pretty cool uh, uh, elbow um, articulation. That's awesome. Very nice. Here is here he's holding that drum gun. Man, that's cool. Look at that. The bend ratio is nice for that. Hey man, if you want to dual wield those bad boys, whoo, some serious firepower there. It looks fantastic with dual wheel on those. That's really cool. Okay, next up we have a Shadow Jewels. Pretty cool. Skull face. She has a ponytail. This is like a flat black, maybe like a really dark gray. It's not black. She has some uh, a little mustard color piece here of her interner, internal of her straps. Then we have the mustard belt. Brown wraps around the wrist. Black gloves with a little bit of silver on them then looks like we have some got some kind of tool that looks cool little belt there a little strap there knee pads like a off whitish isn't maybe metallic white you know, it doesn't look silver it looks very very it has some white in it with the mustard trim around we have a pouch on this side some straps hanging down. This leg, she has like a bandana or a wrap or something. And brown boots. And then she has the black heels. She does have her like a purple tats. She has them on her arms and on her neck. Let's see if I can get some nice views of that. So nice insignia there on her chest. Very cool. Love the skull mask. I think it's fantastic. I'm a big fan of those on my figures. So it's a 360 look. So There's a nice piece here, like a tool bag or something. Her face is kind of cartoonish, I guess, but it's not that bad. So, full articulation, 360 on the neck. Um, again, not much motion for up and down and side to side. I'm not sure what's going on with these ones. Um, 360 rotation at the shoulder, upper arm. Soft ratcheting, very tight. Very careful when you get these. I want to heat them up a little bit. 360 at the elbow, bendable elbow, which is great. You know what? We forgot to take a look at the articulation in Maya's hands. Let's see if we can do that here, and not forget. So, uh, um, pretty close, but a little shy 90 on Andrews here. For the hand, for the wrist, we have the in and out. In the 360 all the way around. And this one we have the in and out also. Probably the same for Midas, but we'll double check. Um, so I decide at the torso, crunch them back, 360 on the uh, waist. We have uh, splits are going to be limited because of her pouches on her legs. We can get that much for uh, that split. Do we have thighs? Yes, we have thigh rotation. Cut to right there and right there. She can sit. It's pretty good. The 
We'll join your knees and her feet. Pivot down, pivot up, and um, you can get 360 if you want it. It's it just gotta work it around the leg. It's there, but her ankles actually function better than my does. This does. She's pretty cool. Let's see if his uh, hands have any. Yeah, they had the in and out also. So if we bring the gun out. Yeah, it's there. There's a joint right there. And then it's on both hands. So she, he has the same articulation in his wrist as Jules. So that's really cool. So you can probably even get some better poses with those uh, Tommy guns. That's pretty awesome. And here's Jules with one of the uh, shotguns. She can hold the weapons pretty good too. Yeah, so that's about all you get. That's a lot of pieces for, you know, in this set. You get a lot of cool pieces. That vault's an awesome uh, piece for your uh, your dioramas. That's really cool. Um, this is a straight unboxing video. I didn't even look at the packaging. Just wanted to do straight up unboxing, you know, kind of like at my first impressions. I didn't know there was no batteries, so... Fortunately, I can't demonstrate that if I happen to pick up batteries in another video, maybe I'll just, you know, I'll make a separate video, you know, showing off the electronics that, you know, that's in, in this set. But this set's going to cost you, uh, right now, like $49.99 on, I picked it up on Amazon, no problem. Um, actually, it is a very large box. Um, you get a lot. Um, you get you figure two figures are you know 10 12 bucks a piece you're in 24 bucks right there You know depending on if they would sell those individuals and where you bought them, you know And those uh, chests are five bucks a piece. So you're in you know 35 bucks the vault and you know soap containers and the shelves and weapons, you know, so it's definitely a very um, Good value set. It's not in my opinion not overpriced You do get a good bit if you really think about it so I want to highly recommend this set without even trying electronics because just of sheer value is pretty good. Um, me myself, I wish I would have had some more of those shells. That would have been really cool. Maybe a couple more wall pieces, but uh, who knows? Maybe uh, around Christmas time, maybe they're going to sell. I and mean, if they go at a decent price or maybe a clearance price one day, pick them up, you know, and get those extra pieces that you would like to have for your collection. I hope for you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like the video and if you like this set. Um, please comment down below if you have any questions. Um, please like and share the video with anybody that's interested in, you know, this set. We want to see what what it's all about. And uh, thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you in our next review.